Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit an existing page. So what do I mean by that? Your website is made up of different pages. So for example, I have a page here called Profile. And this page has content. So what if I want to edit this content? What do I do? So when you log into your website, you're going to go under Website and you're going to go to Page Manager. Now once you're in the Page Manager, right up here it asks you, select a page to edit. So in this example, I'm going to edit the page called Profile. So I can either go through this whole list or I could simply type Profile. What will happen is the page manager will instantly load the page and now we can begin to edit the content. So there's a couple things I want you to understand here. Content on your website is broken down into sections. So how do I know what the sections are? You will see them outlined here. If I see uh, options to move up and down, edit, settings and delete, you know this is a section. So it looks like this area right here is a section. It has the dotted lines. And from this dotted line to the footer is a second section. So we have two sections here. And each section, of course, has these options. So for example, one way of editing is just to move things up and down. So if I click the up button, you'll notice it moved the content up. If I click the down button, of course, it does the opposite. And it will automatically save whatever I've done. Now, every section has a bunch of settings. So if I click on the settings option here, you can actually change the settings of this section as a whole. Now, I'm not going to go into this in detail. We have other tutorial videos that explain the options here. Of course, I can press the X button here to delete the section. I'm going to cancel that. And if I want to edit the content inside the section, that is when I press the pencil button for edit. So once I click the pencil button, all my individual pieces of content are now outlined again. You can see the dotted line. So in this case, it's just text, right? So I have the text here, meet Maddie Saran. If I want to edit this text, I would simply click in here and maybe change it to meet the best realtor. For example, right? I could simply change that. And you have different options here in the editor. So maybe I want the word best to be, you know, in a yellow color, right? Whenever I'm done with my changes, I would simply hit the check mark right up here and it would save all of my changes. Let me uh, revert this back. Whoops. All right. So let's edit another section just to give another example. So in this section, I want to edit it. So I press the pencil button. Again, we have two pieces of content here. We have an image, right? And we also have text. So again, you can see the dotted line breaks down the two types of content. So again, I, I can edit things here. So if I want to edit the image, I can press the edit button. And this will give me the options of how to edit the image. I can, of course, delete the image. I can move the content up or down. Now, there's nothing up or down in this section, so it won't do anything. And again, same with the text. I can, of course, add or edit the text how I please. Whenever I'm done with my changes, I simply hit the check mark. So this is simply how you edit the content on your website. Every page on your website has different content. So, for example, if I go to the communities page, you'll notice this has different types of content. And with each section, I can press the edit button and break down each piece of content and edit it the way I want. So lastly, another example, here we have a button called Browse Lorne Park Listings. Again, if I press the pencil button, I can actually edit the way this button appears, the colors, the hovers, the height, all that stuff. So every piece of content has its own options. And it's very easy, as you could see, to go into every page and simply make the changes you want to make. So I hope this was clear. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team.